if you look at the statistic of the amount of funding is channeled through NGO every year, it's hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. And that money is actually increasing every year. The interesting thing is less than 5% of that amount goes for local solution or local innovators that are developing solu solution to solve some of those problems. And that's, that's, that's really interesting because NGOs can have a huge impact on local innovators. You know, things are changing. Social impact entrepreneur is growing tremendously across Africa. Yet, there is a, a holdup. That's why I call it. And I want to talk about this. I want to talk about what impact this money can bring for local innovator. And what is the problem that I believe from the experience I had. So check out, man. I think you might learn something. So, if you see today, you know, um, we have NGOs all across Africa. And, and I've talked about it, uh, I'll post a video somewhere, how the model used to be, how more and more social impact entrepreneur is growing. But I want to talk about specifically, you know, how NGO money can have a huge impact on the ground. One of the things on the SDG, goals, I think it's uh, goal number 17, they talk about partnership, you know, and how partnership even for ARED has been key. There's no way unless you're raising hundreds of millions of dollars or tens of millions of dollars, there's no way that you're going to be able to solve huge problem by yourself. It's just not possible, you know. So what you have is you have solution providers and you have NGOs that are looking or seeking, at least the right one, they're seeking solutions to solve a specific problem for a community. And a lot of those, those uh, uh, in the past, NGO, they, they used to work, and a lot of them still work the same way, is they get funding for a specific project that end after two, three years, or have a timeline on the project, right? So what you find out is they get the funding. I mean, I've seen NGO, uh, half of their staff is just grant writers. Half of their staff is grant writers. I've seen NGOs that when they bring consultants and all, they come from London, where Europe, the States, rarely they get consultants from Africa. Yet, we're trying to solve some African problems, right? So, in that aspect, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of issue. But let's talk about the ones that are actually trying to do the right thing, right? And there is some. Um, but millions of dollars are channeled through those NGOs. And usually NGOs have a timeline, the project ends, boom, they move to the next thing. A lot of the challenge that NGO have is the solution they provide are very limited in a sense where they're not a technology company. They, they don't develop solution, even though UNHCR and all have department that develop innovation, but they're not on the ground, most of them, at least I haven't seen them on the ground, you know, understanding the ecosystem, monetize, uh, seeing if, uh, what can be monetized, et cetera, et cetera. But you have a lot of social impact entrepreneur that are developing solution, already tested the model, already implemented some of the model, but need some money to be scaled or implemented on even, you know, much bigger uh, uh, marketplace or different countries. So one of the, 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 the biggest thing that I see is with, with, with those two, it, there's a lot of things that can be done. And in a sense where instead of NGOs trying to implement everything or buying solutions from overseas, and trying to implement those solutions themselves, why not have a share of the value chain where partnership is involved, where they raise the capital and then they look for solution, local solution. Imagine the, the, the trickle down effect it would have in the marketplace. Imagine how much better technology would be. 
if part of the funding can be for research and development on improving a certain technology that works. I see water filtration system that are very local, developed uh, by local uh, social entrepreneur. I see uh, uh, solar system that are very local, developed locally. I see a lot of systems that are much, much cheaper, you know, than much more advanced high-tech system that cost five, ten times more and don't necessarily bring additional value uh, to the user because that's what the key is. So partnership is really uh, important. One of the partnerships we have, for example, in Uganda is we have a shared uh, value chain where we bring the solution, we improve on the technology, an NGO partner um, bring the team to do the monitoring, the recruitment, the training, etc., etc. And now what we're doing is we do co, we apply for grants together. Um, and that's what I want to talk about. There's a huge impact um, that those funding and NGOs can bring on the ground. So it's not longer not just bringing innovation on the ground to solve a specific problem, but now you do job creation because you're using local innovator or local social entrepreneur. You know, if you use some of that money for market, re I mean, uh, for, for R&D research and development, what you realize now is you're creating more jobs, engineering, software development, you know, and, and, and it, the, the, the impact could be much, much, much bigger. And that's a conversation we're not having. And that's most of the conversation that is not happening, unfortunately because the status quo is still uh, widely used, but that's really what could be a game changer. I also want to encourage social entrepreneurs to seek partnership with NGOs because every NGO want to have a successful program because they have to answer uh, uh, to their funders. So if, if you can present a solution and you can minimize, I would say not necessarily the cost, fix my call, man. Not necessarily, um, you know, minimizing their costs, but showing a more sustainable model. Uh, because a lot of NGOs, are not, they're not business people. Uh, they, they, they mostly, and I don't want to box them in, but they, they're number cruncher and they're grant writers, right? So what happened is they're looking for a more long-term sustainable model. If you have a sustainable model, they can bring the funding you just have to show them value for them and sustainability is one of the biggest biggest challenge that NGO have um, a lot of their models are not sustainable they fail after two three years as soon as they leave so that's the problem and uh, but you should seek partnership and it will allow you to 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 scale much much quicker and 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 for NGOs I think there have to be more transparencies there has to be more engagement of what, you know, project that you guys are trying to solve. There's a lack of transparency with NGOs, man. A lot of the project or programs are hidden. You have to know somebody who knows someone that tells you about this project or the fund that is, has been issued. I can't tell you how many times, because I have a network now where somebody sent me an email, hey, we're looking for such, so, so, such and such and such, and it's not advertised. And I, I don't understand why. Um, you know, it's not promoted to maximize the number of solutions to come in and so it can be a better selection. And finally, I want to end with this. And that's mostly what, what some of the things that I've learned. That's why I love the SDG 17, the partnership part. You know, the, the status quo is just not working. Partnership is the future. There's, there's not going to be no longer where you have a project that last two years, you just do training, but there's nothing after that. They're gonna have to be a much more um, coherent pro project and programs out there that involve different aspects. There's a lot of conversation happening in this. Uh, unfortunately, the actions are not there yet, but for, 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 for mostly for, for entrepreneurs or social entrepreneurs, Spend more time networking in the NGO space. You'll be amazed by how much money and how much resources and how much value at the end they can bring to you. You know, it, 
If you try to do everything yourself, trying to look for grants and trying to operate yourself, it'll be, it'll, it's going to be a very, very, very tough journey for you guys. 